What's happened to us, Congress? Am I different? Yeah. Have I changed my pants? No. Deep down, you know you want to wear wider bottoms, you're just not secure enough to do it. <laughs> do I wear skinny ties? Yeah. Coach, wide ties make me look heavier than I am, and I'm heavy enough. Do I do my hair with a weed whacker? I admit. <laughs> but take into consideration what you're doing. The Democrat, and I agree with Mr. Obie, and I've had my run-ins with him. There's probably no one brighter in this whole place. Mike Myers an FBI undercover agent posing as an Arab sheik gave him $250,000 captured by videotape. And you let him go till after the break. The two members who violated a 17-year-old page boy and a 17-year-old page girl, which is rape in every state, were not expelled. If you know law enforcement and you got a target, you want a confession. And when you can't get that confession, you want an admission. And I am telling you this right now. They have more tapes on me than NBC. I did nothing wrong. That's why you go ahead and expel me. And I believe this judge is so afraid of what's resonating throughout America, who believe that they should not have to fear their government, and the Congress is their last hope to take it back. And I'm saying this, you speaker, take it back. No American should fear their government, and this guy doesn't. And I'm ready to go. You expel me. It'll make it easier for me to really jack me good. But you know what you'll have done? You'd have taken the standards of a RICO case down to less than a DUI, where you need a .10 to get a conviction. Now, let me tell you what happened to me early Saturday morning. I was up in Portage County, a new part of the district, Ted. And I didn't run against you because I thought I'd beat you easily and I wanted to give you a break. <laughs> I left my car and at 2.30 in the morning I pulled out and I got pulled over by a township police car and a county sheriff. The window doesn't work on the car, so I opened up the door. They couldn't see me but said, Mr. Trafficant, can we see your registration and license? And it had dealer tags on it. I did. They asked me to get out of the car. They asked me to walk around the back of the car. They asked me to do my ABCs. Then they asked me to do this with all four fingers on both hands. Then they asked me to stand and put my left foot in front of my right, take nine steps, stop, turn, and return. Then they asked me to lift my right knee with my left foot on the ground and count to 30. Try that. Then they said reverse, put your right foot on the ground, pick your left knee up, count to 30. And I did that. Then they said, will you mind a breathalyzer? I said, knock yourself out. It was point zero zero one. Here's what I asked them. Did the FBI tell you that was my car and ask you to see if you can get a DUI on me? They looked at each other real funny. And I can't tell you exactly what I told them because of house decorum. <laughs> but I told them if I find out it's an FBI agent that did it, I'd throw his, tear his throat out. And if they lied to me, I'd come back and tear their throat out. And they're not going to frighten me. 
I'm ready to go to jail. I'll go to jail before I admit to a crime I didn't commit. And there was never any intent to commit a crime. And when they start bringing letters that you send to cabinet members trying to help your people, folks, there was a dangerous precedent set in U.S. versus trafficking. I retain and reserve the balance of my time. The only reserves the balance of time.